President Yoon suk yeol begins his week-long trip to New York City for the UN General Assembly. Ahead of his departure, Yoon again highlighted a serious security issues, including North Korea's nuclear program and possible arms collaboration with Russia. Our Oh Soo-young starts us off. President Yoon suk yeol reissued this warning against North Korea and Russia's potential arms cooperation saying the international community will unite even more tightly against the move. The South Korean leader's remarks were published in an interview with the Associated Press ahead of his visit to New York to attend the United Nations General Assembly. Yoon said that military cooperation between Pyongyang and the Kremlin is illegal and unjust, as it contravenes UN Security Council resolutions and various global sanctions. This came amid concerns that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un's summit with Russian President Vladimir Putin last week could lead to a weapons deal between the two sides. The Kim-Putin meeting notably came on the heels of the trilateral Camp David summit between South Korea, the United States and Japan in August. Pointing to toll on Washington's pledges this year to expand joint military drills and plan joint responses to nuclear contingencies, Yoon said that the two sides had reaffirmed that any nuclear attack by North Korea will be met with a swift, overwhelming and decisive response that would end the regime. Echoing his words at the East Asia summit earlier this month, Yoon again stressed that China should play a responsible and constructive role in handling North Korea, as well as addressing other global challenges. He is expected to make a similar call during a speech at the UN General Assembly on Wednesday local time. Yoon said that as South Korea, as a non-permanent member of the Security Council next year, will play a responsible role on pertinent issues, including North Korea's nuclear program and the war in Ukraine. He will also address global gaps in the areas of development, climate response and digital transformation, and lay out South Korea's plan to help resolve such challenges, particularly in tackling the growing digital divide and building new global norms to make digital technology ethical and beneficial for humanity. Yoon will hold a digital vision forum at New York University, expanding on the principles he declared in Paris back in June. Until his fifth and final day in New York City, the South Korean leader will hold at least 30 bilateral meetings on the sidelines in an all-out effort to win support for Busan City's bid to host the 2030 World Expo. Oh Soo-young, Arirang News.